this on. It's not gonna let me live my life. Well, today we're definitely gonna do a different video. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to look at new releases and put them in like, will I buy it? Do I have intention to purchase it later? Maybe, uh, definitely no. So we're just gonna give our opinions, you know, about the new releases and the new makeup that is coming on the market. I've seen a couple of things trickling in on trends so with Kate. I'm gonna look on that over there and just kind of give herself like a little bit of like, we'll see what the hell is happening and what is new and give you my opinions about it. To be honest with you, there's some things in there that I was like, mm, I already seen and I'm like interested some that I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So I'm going to go first to Trendsmood's page and I'm going to go and look from the beginning of the year because this was one of the ideas that I had for this year. I really wanted to start doing this series. Will I buy it? Because I'm really interested to see um, what my first thoughts are on these things, but then also to see if later on I'm actually purchasing this or not. So let's start with first things first in here. Um, from what I can see, oh, JLo. JLo Beauty, JLo Glow is coming up on the market. Um, it's it's coming up with JLo Glow Serum with Olive Complex, which is $79, a mega rich gel serum that visibly brightens, tightens, and lifts, while also providing all day hydration and an instant glow. Um, also, it's coming with the Dot Star Filter Highlighting Complexion Booster, which is $39 a sheer skin enhancing complexion boosting serum formulated with light boost balancing mineral pigments and vitamin E to deliver a subtle and all over glow in the shades pink champagne rose gold warm bronze rich bronze and then a wonder cream with hyaluronic acid a glow sheet mask that is $18 uh, each uh, a fresh take eye cream with peptides which is $48 and the big screen moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 30, $54. A hit single gel cream cleanser, $38. And a JLo Glow 4 Piss Kit, $64. Sephora Kit with a cleanser, serum, night cream, highlighting, complexion booster, in warm bronze. And this is going to be available January 14 online and in stores at Sephora. I'm sorry, my eyes just freaking bother me all day. But I'm not interested in J Lo Glow. Um, I like her as a singer. I don't. I don't care honestly that much about her brand. I, I'm not into that. I don't. I don't trust all the, all the ingredients and all the 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 things that it, she's saying that they're gonna do. So I'm not gonna look into that. I'm not interested. If you're interested, then. There you go. It's going to be on Sephora's website. Um, another thing that I've seen here is from BH Cosmetic. And this one kind of interests me, but it kind of doesn't. Because this is actually a kind of a cool idea, but the execution, in my opinion, is poorly done. Um, so BH Cosmetic is coming with a birthstone collection. Every month, there will be a new palette dropping. And uh, they dropped Garnet for general palette. So the colors in here are just like, what? Uh, no. You know what I mean? There's no. I know how a Garnet looks like. There's no color in there that looks like a Garnet. There's two different types of Garnet. I, I don't know if you know, but I did work with jewelry. So I know how a Garnet looks like. <laughs> Um, there's two type of uh, garnets, one that is a deeper red and one that has more of a purple reflection. 
that there's no such thing in here um the the color that is called garnet it actually looks more like a ruby in my opinion and then you have that red over there you have the loyal the loyal is the only one that kind of it's a little bit closer to actually the actual color of the garnet i just i don't know i don't like how this looks like to be honest with you i'm interested to see how they're gonna do it for the next few months mine is is gonna be in april the diamond i i'm i'm wondering when it's gonna be in diamond only white shades i have no idea uh but i'm interested to see aquamarine emerald and then i'm interested to see um the sapphire because sapphire i believe is gonna be gorgeous but this one i'm definitely not gonna pick it up not interested in it i don't like the color story not my vibe okay tatcha is coming with another thing tatcha is celebrating five million days of school for girls around the world funded by your purchase in their launching a limited edition value size of their best-selling dewy skin cream with wisteria details and symbols of kindness in japan meant to represent the children impacted by support of tatcha and its clients unusually fast growing these climbing botanical tribe uh only when they can twist their vines around the sturdy support structure low and cascade of purple petals to flourish the dewy skin cream in a gratitude size 75 millimeter for 80 dollars a rich cream that feeds skin with plumping hydration and antioxidants packed japanese purple rice for a dewy glowing glow will be available january 4th already available right now not interested i tried uh tatcha before it wasn't my favorite the only thing that i actually did enjoy from tatcha uh it was the cleanser the cleanser was actually a really good cleanser but the the um what is it the cream was such a buzz for me i hated that cream i hated it it was not it was spilling off of my face so to pay that amount of money for something like that i'm like that's not acceptable okay so that i don't like the cream from them so i'm not gonna buy anything from tatcha anymore another thing in here that i see mm, interesting maybe uh so this is um a thing from what is it she doesn't give me her little toes come on So another thing in here, what I see is a cheek pop highlighter by Clinique in gold celebration pop. Limited edition is $26 because they're celebrating the ear of the ox. I, I mean, it's cool. It's nice. It's beautiful, but I'm not going to purchase it. I have way too many highlighters. And to be honest with you, I don't know if that color would work well for my skin tone. So I'm not going to get that one. Now, I'm going to skip a few things in here that I'm not very interested in. Um, now, one thing that is kind of interesting that I saw is from Fenty Beauty. So this one, I feel like a lot of people are going to pick this up. It's a new set with New Euro Glow Lip Plus Luminizer set by Fenty Beauty that is $41. A little expensive if you ask me. Includes a gloss bomb universal lip luminizer, a shimmery bright red or and a shimmery bright red orange diamond bomb. Now this one looks interesting. I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, I I am not gonna purchase it right now for sure, but I think at some point in time I might be interested in this. So this is interesting, but I'm not gonna purchase it right now. Another thing that I see in here, uh, Pat McGrath came up with another uh, a lip combo. Unfortunately, I cannot purchase any lip products this year. So for me, it's going to be a no, but maybe you're going to like it. This is a Crimson Couture, Couture, Couture <laughs> Lip Kit. Uh, and it's $55 in a blood glass, the lip pencil and the matte trace lipstick. It's in the shade Elson 3. Maybe you're curious about that. That looks really beautiful, but I'm not interested in picking that up. Now, there's a few things at the drugstore that is, they're coming out. 
and from what I can see there's uh, Milan is coming with a palette which looks pretty I'm not gonna pick that up though there's wet and wild that is coming with some primers nice as well and some also some eyeshadow um, palettes over there some very neutral ones I see some things from Physicians Formula and Wet n Wild from Glam Glow. <sighs> to be honest, the only thing that kind of makes me a little bit more curious is that Mineral Wear, Wear Diamond Dust from Physicians Formula in that foundation. But again, I'm not allowed to purchase any of these, so I'm not going to get that. Now moving on. Something that I may purchase, maybe, with a good sale. <laughs> I'm not going to purchase this right away. I definitely need a good sale for this, but I think I'm going to grab this. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab this. This is from um, Hourglass. It's the new addition to the Ambient Lighting Family, the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 2. And it says the palette includes three shades of ambient lighting powder acting as an instant filter to deliver a flawless complexion with multi-dimensional glow. And they, uh, the powder captures diffuse and softens surrounding light to refine the skin appearance. They manipulate light to filter out imperfection, pores, and wrinkles with it. The palette contains shades designed to finish, highlight, contour, refine, or warm the skin and can be applied individual or layer for custom luminosity. It looks absolutely gorgeous. $64 is supposed to be coming soon. I don't know when soon means, but it's gorgeous. And I would love to have that. Now, will I purchase it right away? Definitely not. Something that I think I'm gonna purchase it right away, uh, it's this one from Ordinary. Ordinary is coming up with a concealer. And this concealer is apparently it's beautiful, high coverage with real skin finish, natural matte, easy to blend, resist creasing and settling two lines. And it's in a tube, a squeezy tube. It has 36 shades and 21 correspond to the foundation range and it's $5.80 each. And it's coming on, 9th, on the 19th of January on their website and also it's coming soon in Ulta store. It looks really nice. I really want to try it. I want to see how this is going to go. So I'm definitely going to pick this up. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, another thing that I see new in here is from MAC. That is not a beautiful... That is, I don't know what the heck. I don't like how this looks. Um, MAC is making a collaboration with Sims. Not my favorite. I don't, use, I don't buy from MAC anyway. So... Something that I'm like really, really into it, and I cannot wait for this ones. Um, ColourPop. ColourPop is coming up with some crazy stuff right now. From what I can see, they have a five pan palette collection, and they have five new bite size palettes, ten dollars each. That includes Crush, that has warm, cozy covers. Cherish, Romantic Cranberry Tones, Ballard, Smoky Cool Tones, Gunman Metal, Lyrics, Soft Bronzy Neutrals, and a more Metallic Rosy Shades. Now, here's the thing. I really, really love how Crush looks like, and I also love how Ballard looks like. I think I may be picking both of those. I don't know about all the other ones, but I feel like it's missing something. Why they haven't come up with some greens, with some yellows, with some stuff like that, with some purples. I mean, I guess in a more is a little bit, but not, I, I don't know. I don't know, but definitely picking up Valor because I really like the, the that color story and I do not have that in my collection. And Crush is just such, it's, it's your everyday. It's your everyday in there. So I, I think I'm going to pick those two up as well. Now, Huda Beauty is coming out with a super potent, potent serum. Uh, and it has ingredients from our original third strap cocoon mask that have been boosted with three types of hyaluronic acid and firming peptides to hydrate and strengthen your skin. 
It's $47. I know. I would just rather go and buy uh, the ordinary serums and call it a day. Now, another thing from BH Cosmetics, they're, apparently they're doing a travel series collection as well. And they're doing Lost in Los Angeles with 16 matte shades, shimmery metallic finishes for $17. And then we have Apris in Aspen, which is a face palette with six highlighters and iridescent finish for $17. And then we have a travel series seven piece face and eye brush set with hyaluronic bag for $20. Out of all of this, the only thing that interests me are the the brushes, but I don't think I'm going to pick those up either. Um, it's a beautiful palette. I mean, if you want, you can pick it up. It's nice. It's beautiful. But I don't know. I tried BH Cosmetic before. I really did not like their formula. I heard that people said that they changed their formula and they're much better now. I don't know if I should believe them or not, but for now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for it. The next one in here, it's a thing from Melt, which is so pretty, but I don't wear those blues. It's it's really nice, but I don't know. It says Blueprint Eyeshadow Palette, newly renovated with eight favorite crafted blue and bronze tone eyeshadows from the stack and gel liners in deep blue, ultra matte, and reflect finishes. Doesn't give us the prices, but it says it's coming soon to their website. Um, oh yeah, this thing, this thing, I, let me know down below. Are you curious about this? Because I am a little bit, a little bit I am. So this is a, a new thing from ABH. They have a brow freeze that is $23 that helps to lift tame sculpt hair in place without stiff fill residue or flaking for the feather looking brow universal clear wax formula for all skin tones and brow colors. I'm not interested in this one because uh, I don't have the brows for it, but it sounds really, really cool. Now, the highlighter though, the highlighter. I said I'm not going to purchase highlighters, but this one is the only one that actually intrigues me. Because this one is actually called Ice Wild Out and it's $34. And it says a multi-dimensional wet effect shine with a high reflective of a liquid and the weightless of a powder. The universal shade and buildable intensity can be used on the face, body, and eyes, dry or wet. Now, I will be interested in that. They're, and they have a gloss, they have two different glosses as well for $20, and it's coming out on the 11th. I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna put this one in maybe for the highlighter. Now, Charlotte Tilbury apparently is coming up with, uh, what, three new limited edition uh, lipsticks that is Sweet Blossom, Moisturizing Rusted Rose, Lucky Cherry, a Matte Bright Cherry Red, and a Rose Wish, a Muted Matte Brick Red. And it's supposed to be coming soon at Nordstrom, and also mag the Magic Cream Moisturizer just, you know, dressed up differently. I'm not interested in that. I'm like I said, no more lipsticks for me. Now, here's a brand that I have not purchased anything from, and I not interested so far, nothing interests me in it. But there's something in here that kind of does, and that is the cream blush. This is from Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Mountain Cream Blush for $21. And there's five different shapes, uh, shades in there. I really do like them. Should I buy this? I do have a lot of blushes. But should I buy this just to kind of test the formula? I'm not sure. They have some lipsticks in there for... Oh, no, they have lip balms in there for $18. Uh, a liquid eyeshadows for $20. $20 and a brush for $15. That brush is too expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for that, maybe. Now another thing that I'm like, maybe it's the Trend Mood Box, man. The Trend Mood Box, she, she has a, a, a collaboration with Good Molecules that is gonna be a takeover box, and it's only $32, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe, 
Should I fight and buy it? I don't know. We'll see. And it's only skincare in here, which I will be happy to get this. Um, they have a yerba matte, matte wake up eye gel, uh, nice in my brightening toner, discoloration correcting serum, hyaluronic acid serum, silicone free priming moisturizer, hydrate and cleanse bar, and pineapple exfoliating powder. Now that I would not be able to use because it has vitamin C in it and my skin does not like vitamin C. Mm. I don't know. I don't know you guys. I don't know. I might just get that. Maybe. I'm going to try. We'll see. Now another thing that is coming out from uh, Becca, we have some light shifter doing um, tint. This is a sheer tint and moisturizer that illuminates skin with an ultra dewy skin and moisturize instantly. Weightless contains what antioxidants, vitamin E for anti-pollution protection and blue light protection. And infused with multiple things, blah, blah, blah. And they have a finishing veil that that one is going to be $34. The, the dewing tint is going to be $30. Basically what it is, it's it's uh, just the uh, tinted moisturizer now the shade range it's shitty but i'm not interested in this nah i don't think this is gonna be i don't think this is gonna be anything good i don't think so mm -mm. all right so another thing that she put on that was was just she just put this out right now and this is from P. Louise, a formulated with benefits of vitamin E, shea butter, and hyaluronic acid. Got a creamy, nourishing, smooth formula. Dry down within 60 seconds to a vivid, velvety, matte finish. Does not fall off or crack. Vibrant color payoff with just a pea size amount. 11 shades. And it's coming in February on their website. What is this? Oh, this is lip base. From eye base to lip base? Oh. A lip base? I don't think I want this. No. Why would I want this? Why would anybody want this? I don't know. I'm not going to go for this one. Alright, so this is what I was able to gather today. I think it's more like anti-hold than actually a hold type of video. Will I buy a video? Let me know if you're interested in anything of this. If you are, let me know which one you want to pick up. I like I said, I'm gonna pick up few pick up a few things from over there. We're gonna do this type of videos maybe once or twice a month, and because I do love to go through that and just kind of see what is in there and kind of decide if I want to go with anything or not. Let me know down below if you're gonna get anything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you all next time with another video. Bye.